Hey guys, it's Jordan from the JP Homes team at Remax. I am here with, again, my good friend, Eric Yankalevic from Sherwood Mortgage Group. How are you, Eric? Good morning, how are you? Good, thanks. I thought we would do this remote video really quickly because there were some, some announcements, some big announcements um, put out yesterday by, uh, by the government uh, with regards to mortgages and mortgage stress tests, which has been a hot topic since they were introduced a couple of years ago. So I thought I'd talk to Eric now and break it down and find out exactly what, what's going on, what did they announce, and how can this impact you know, us as buyers or sellers in the market today? So uh, thanks again, Eric. I appreciate you taking the time with me. Thanks, Jordan. First off, um, I, I think it's important to applaud the government for actually um, taking on an initiative to evaluate the implications of the stress test two years after it's been fully implemented right. across all mortgages. So I think that that's an important step. Um, the other important thing about, about the stress test, um, that the new stress test that they're recommending, it would take effect on April the 6th. Okay. And it would require that they take a, a median of rates from different lenders and they would establish a new benchmark, which would be that rate plus 2%. So, for example, today in this market, that rate would be approximately 4.79%, okay. which is approximately 30 basis points lower than what we're qualifying borrowers at today. So, currently today, what are buyers are qualifying at 5. One four. One four. Okay, right. So this would reduce the qualification, um, which would increase a buyer's purchasing power right. by approximately three percent. Okay, so it gives people a little bit more ability to, you know, spend possibly a little bit more. I mean, I think I looked at some numbers. If you're looking at, you know, on a five hundred thousand dollar property, it ends up being I think about thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars. Exactly. Something like that. Which, I mean, in this market, every every little bit helps, right? Ab absolutely. Um, my only comment is that um, it's important to note that there is a risk that the qualification could actually backfire on borrowers. Okay, and what do you mean by that? So today we're in an environment of extremely low interest rates. Right. However, as recent as a couple of years ago, we were seeing interest rates for five-year fixed money at approximately 3.3%. Right. So does that mean that we're not qualifying borrowers at a higher rate than we're qualifying them today at? Because right. two percent premium would be approximately five point four percent. Right. Okay. So we need to be really aware of that. The other, my own, the other thing is when it comes to pre-approvals as well. Okay. How is the government going to treat that? I can provide you with a pre-approval today at five fifteen mm -hmm. on where the rates are. But if the rates tick up in late spring or early summer, when the purchase comes into play, what happens if the qualification rate has increased because rates have increased? Right. So it's really important to stay in touch with a mortgage broker and the real estate professional throughout the entire process so that it's um, a fluid process so that we're able to give you a prize of really what's going on. Right. And I know we've spoken in our conversations a lot about, you know, getting the pre-approval and, you know, getting organized and yourself together even before you start actually house hunting because that way you can be the best prepared uh, to act once you find that that right house. But just to touch on what one thing that you just mentioned, you were talking uh, about interest rates and the changes in interest rates. If we, uh, you know, put on, look at the crystal ball and what do you think in terms of, you know, where rates are today and what do you think, uh, you know, we might see with rates as we move through the spring into the summer and the rest of the year? Well, you know, you know, we're starting to feel the implications internationally of what's been going on in China with the, with the, with the coronavirus. Right. Um, uh, Apple, for example, just identified that they're not going to be able to meet their quarter financial forecasts. Okay. Uh, Dollarama, I think, has also commented that it's Im implement it's uh, impacting their bottom line. Right. This, what's going on internationally? Right. It'll be interesting to see how that impacts the Canadian economy. Plus, believe it or not. The via rail blockade, yeah, and the financial implications of that, coupled all together, could have an impact um, on the Bank of Canada rate, which could see a lowering of the Bank of Canada rate in the spring. Interesting. So I, I think we're going to be in a long-term sustained environment of low rates. Okay. And um, time will tell, but it is curious to see um, how the government will 
implement or qualify variable rate mortgages. Right, okay. But right now, the suggestion is only for five-year fixed money. Ah, right. So what happens, how will borrowers get qualified based on a variable rate? So there's still some kinks. I think the government's working out between now and April the 6th when they implement it. Right. Uh, but the most important thing is that they are dialoguing with the mortgage industry and the banking sector. And I think that's definitely a positive step in the right direction yeah, in the future. Yeah, for sure. And I think one of the things that it, it's going to do as well is it's going to add to kind of the positive news that, that's out there right now about real estate and buying and selling real estate. You know, two years ago or three years ago, uh, out in the news, it was very negative. There wasn't a lot of positive information being put out there. Now we see a lot in the news about things positive. The market is getting back on track and is healthy and moving. So this, I think, is another element that might help fuel that uh, as we move into the spring market. Yeah, and keep in mind, again, um, the Home Buyers Incentive Program that the government released for helping with down payments, that was implemented in November. Right. You know, then Prime Minister Trudeau instructed Finance Minister Morneau to look at the stress test, and this has all been um, a good evaluation and a good way of starting a, a useful dialogue between the industry and government and how we can really um, help first-time home buyers getting into the marketplace. Yeah, awesome. That's amazing. I really appreciate it. appreciate you taking the time to help clear it up and kind of clarify exactly what happened. Um, so if anybody has questions, you can get in touch with Eric. I'll include his contact information here. And if you have any real estate questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Eric, so much for your time. And we'll talk to you again Anytime. soon. Anytime, Jordan. See you Thanks. later.